sorry. Uh, I was just learning an attractive life skill. Hey, what's up, David Howlers? That doesn't sound right. I mean, David Howlers, it kind of rolls off the tongue, but it's just awful. So my official name to you guys is Party People. You are now Party People. <laughs> So today we are going to be looking at an episode from a show called Freaky Eaters, and this is a pretty popular show. I've watched quite a few episodes on it, and it's kind of, it's basically the same thing every time person eats lots of food and they put them through trials to not eat that food a lot. But this one episode in particular, I haven't actually watched all the way through, but from the little that I saw from it, it was it was hilarious. I had to make a video on it. This video is on a guy named Victor. He is a cheeseburger addict. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Victor's life is dominated by cheeseburgers. Burgers are so good. <laughs> oh man, right off the bat, that, that face. This man likes his burgers. Eating the morning, noon, and night. Every meal of every day for almost three decades. 30 years? They could be bending the truth here a little bit, but... <laughs> eating nothing but burgers for 30 years, that is absolutely nuts foods that i eat and the pills that i'm taking are just fighting each other and and unfortunately the cheeseburgers won and his marriage is falling apart if he continues this way i don't know how much more i can take okay so just from that intro clip he's having marital issues and relationship issues because he is eating a certain food way too much and th this man is what i would assume 40 ish 30, 40 years old. He has to be married for a while, and he's having marital issues because of his addiction to hamburgers. Oh, come on. Th this... They, they didn't even try. Literally, if you open Sony Vegas, take out the, the text generator, and type what they typed, it would be the exact same thing. They didn't bother to change a thing. That is the the most basic it could have been. He eats four burgers a day, 28 each week, which is nearly 1,500 burgers every single year. 1,500 burgers a year. I eat 1,500 calories a year. I don't eat salad. I don't eat steak. I stay away from chicken. I don't eat any vegetables or fruit. I love fishing, but there is no way in hell I will eat a fish. You know, I'm not exactly the most, you know, like, lenient eater. But, like, not eating steak or lettuce. Like, when he said, I won't eat lettuce, I assumed it was some sort of, like, reverse veganism thing. Like, oh, I don't, I don't mess with plants. Uh, you know, we gotta help those, help those plants by only eating animals and meat. But then, like, immediately following that, he's just straight up, nah, I don't eat steak. I don't eat chicken. I don't even eat fish. I don't, I don't mess with that. Like, if I didn't know that all this guy eats is burgers, and then I heard him say those things that he refuses to eat, I'd be like, what? What? You only eat bread? Is that you just eat bread then? But Victor keeps the extent of his burger obsession hidden from his wife of 11 years. Adriana thinks maybe I'll have three burgers a week. I'm really having over 20 a week. This man's been married to this woman for 11 years and has kept it a secret. So she thinks that he's eating three burgers a week and that is causing the marital issues. That is causing some tension between the two. Her thinking he has three a week <laughs> when in reality he's eating up to 20. I, I, don't, I don't know how else to say it. But at this point, I would not be surprised if they are divorced by the end of this video. I'm going to culinary school. I love all food. I don't eat anything she makes. Nine to ten times, I'll stop on the way home. Let me get a uh, cheeseburger plain. And get rid of the evidence and come in the house and then just kind of pick at what she made. Every time Victor doesn't eat something that I make, I take it very personal. I A? What the fudge is a plain burger? And B, how much of a pea brain 
do you have to be and how disrespectful do you have to be to sit and act like a like a five-year-old and pick around your plate that you're that your wife made you like she said she's going to culinary school she's taking school to learn how to how to cook and make food and whatever like the least you could do is fudging eat it you don't have to be like that was that was, del that was delicious i loved it no just just fudging eat it just just try what she made but you look at this and he's just like nah no, I don't mess with this. I know it breaks her heart, you know, but I, it breaks my heart even more. He's emptying it on her plate. This man, this is this is a seven-year-old man baby right here. Not only does he not eat it, he has the audacity to just, just, just freaking dump it onto her plate because he doesn't want to eat it. It's <laughs> awful. Victor has been a freaky eater his entire life refusing to eat even as a toddler. I would be so happy if I could get him to eat one good meal during the day. Okay, as annoying as this guy is for not eating, and he still is annoying to me. After hearing that, it's it's just the parents' fault. There, there's no way around it. Like, what kind of child isn't picky? Every, every child on earth is picky. Um, I was, I, I am picky. You, you were picky as a kid, you might still be, but you, you cannot tell me that you were, weren't a picky kid because yes, you were. At age five, Victor discovered cheeseburgers. This dude just Christopher Columbus cheeseburgers. I would have to make the same thing every day. Cheeseburgers for breakfast, cheeseburgers for lunch, and cheeseburgers for dinner. No, 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 no. No one made you do that. You were not forced at gunpoint to cook your burgers. Don't burn it. Okay, okay, I'm trying. Over time, Victor became afraid of all other foods and insisted that his burgers be made a very specific way. Having lettuce, tomato, or onions touching my burger, I feel like I've been violated. Bruh. Violated for real? There are people that have been through stuff that have earned to say that they've been violated. This guy's talking about not wanting specific condiments on his hamburger. Hand. Like this dude is just a, he's just a man baby. You know, that's the title of this video. Man baby refuses to eat anything other than cheeseburgers. Over the next week, they'll use intense nutritional and psychological therapy to help him reclaim his life. I'm JJ Virgin. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry for anyone named JJ Virgin out there really apologize, but that name's hilarious. I guess the obvious question here is, why haven't you stopped? There's nothing else that I want. Why couldn't it be that you'd have chicken or a salad or a piece of fruit? Are you not listening, JJ? He doesn't mess with vegetables. He doesn't like lettuce. Idiot. I, I can't physically get it in my mouth. A, that's what she said and B, yes you can. So now we're getting into the really juicy part of any Freaky Eaters episode, which is basically where they take the addict and show them a large quantity of whatever food they're addicted to and say, this is how much you eat in, let's say, a year. And then they're like, oh, wow, yeah, I need to change. And then they do or don't. real burgers in there. <laughs> oh, the, the genuine disappointment from him. Oh, those are real burgers in there. <sighs> so Victor, what do you think all of this represents? <laughs> He's like, a big waste of burgers is what that is. I'm assuming it represents the amount of burgers I eat in a five year span. Try a one year span. Wow. Is it just me or did he seem proud there? Wow. I don't know, maybe that's the amount of burgers I eat in like five years, actually. That's how many burgers you eat in just one year. Wow. <laughs> I'm awesome. The question is really, when's the blindness gonna set in? When are you gonna have to have something amputated? When's the stroke happening or the heart attack? When I go 10 minutes without a fudging burger! So after the shock therapy, they take uh, this dude 
to try burgers with different stuff on them that at first he refused to eat. And it's really just awful. It's not good. So, how are you feeling right now about it? Uh, I can smell the lettuce. It's really grossing me out right uh -huh. now. You, you can't. You, you can't smell the lettuce. Lettuce is a smell -less food. You, you can't smell lettuce. That's, that's it. You can't. I realized that I have to do this. And if I want to get better, then I have to take the first step. That's hard. Way to go. Ooh, yeah, awesome. yeah, let's go. Oh, nice. yeah. So now Mike takes uh, Hamburger Boy. <laughs> So now Mike takes Hamburger Boy. So Mike takes Hamburger Boy to try a burger with both lettuce and mushrooms, which he has never tried before in his life. Uh, I can just imagine them tasting like dirt. Wow. So that's what a mushroom looks like, huh? So this dude's never eaten a mushroom before. I guess I understand it, kind of. Mushrooms aren't the best, in my opinion. But you've never fudging seen a mushroom? What? <clears throat> I wanted to throw up, but then I just kept chewing, kind of fought through it, and realized that mushrooms are really good. Enough said. The burgers were the big unknown, but they were still familiar. When I moved into the condiments, I mean, here are vegetables. This is a man who runs from vegetables. There's just so much going on, I just don't know. Is that not the point of burgers? Like, when you have a burger, there's supposed to be a lot going on. The way this guy eats them, it's just the most boring thing on the planet. Like, you, you want you want the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the lettuce and the cheese and the don't forget the meat so after this mike dow and jj virgin <laughs> they leave victor alone to uh you know try by himself to refrain from eating burgers as much as possible i guess so his wife cooks him some chicken burgers Huh? And for the first time in many years, Victor's done it. He's done it. He's accomplished what we thought at first to be impossible. And he ate his wife's meal. What a saint. But then you look at it and it's just like a chicken burger with onion rings. <laughs> Everybody ordered a burger and I was sitting there with a granola bar. <laughs> so nothing else really interesting happens for the next couple minutes. Basically, Victor goes seven whole days uh, without eating or even touching a single cheeseburger, which, to be honest, good on you, man. That's So that's basically it. Moral of the story. Nope. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I think if this channel goes anywhere, um, if it doesn't, I'll probably still make videos, but if it does, um, I'll try to branch out into other social stuff such as Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, let me know what kind of stuff you want to see next. I'll see you next video. Peace. The fudge out.